We heard the stories as children. There were many variations, but it was always about her. Nobody knew the truth about her. Nobody knew who she really was. All we knew for sure was that she walked the highways, searching, looking, hunting. We knew her as Sheila. Flopping time we're going out. I even booked the hotel room for us again. I told you I wasn't ready. You hey, shut up. The issue. Just shut up. I wasn't ready. Just take me home. You want to go? Get out. No, get no, out. I'm not going hey, to stand I'm telling you, get out. Tonight. Get out now. I just got another floozy instead. Stupid me. Always fall for these things. Hey there, sexy lady. Are you okay? Look, it's pretty late and dangerous out here. So, why don't you jump in? I'll drop you off somewhere. So gorgeous. Where am I taking you to? Just drive. Okay. If you don't mind me asking, what were you doing on the highway at this part of the night? I don't remember. You don't remember, eh?
from the jungle, up in the trees. I got a few tricks up in the sleeve. One wrong move, I'ma let out the let out the let out the big shoes, check out the crease. Flow like I'm big foot, step on the beat. Make a man's run till he step out the crease. When the whole place scream, gotta get out the let out the Okay, thanks. Have a nice day. Natalie, I was wondering whether you still work here. Uh, Mr. Singh? Yes? Rahul said that you wanted to see me. That's correct. I am very unhappy. Have you tried taking some depression medication or something? This is not a joke, Natalie. How long have you been employed here? 18 months. And in that 18 months, what breakthrough stories have you come up with? I did not get any great stories. And with the assignments that you gave me, I tried Natalie, to. What is the first thing I told you when you got here? A good reporter does not get great stories. A good reporter makes great stories. Precisely. And what have you given me thus far? Nothing. I'm working on that drug cartel story. In fact, I'm actually wrapping up the ending of that story. And I'm just waiting for one I'm of my sorry, leads Natalie. to give me... It's over. What? Are you firing me? Don't be so melodramatic. I spiked your story. You can't spike my story. I spent two weeks of my life on that story. And you've given me nothing. I just told you that I'm wrapping it up. I have another story for you. Your drug story has become old news. Now... What do you know about Sheila? I have an aunt named Sheila. Hmm. Does she live near the highway by any chance? No. Good. Then I doubt she's highway Sheila. Highway Sheila? No, Mr. Singh, you cannot ask me to investigate Highway Sheila. That's a goose chase. It's not even a story. And I'll become the laughing stock of this paper. Sit down. So let's address some of these concerns. Firstly, this is a story. There's been too many accidents on the Higginson Highway of late, and people are attributing this to the urban legend. I want you to find out about this highway, Sheila. Let's give our readers some facts to go on. Two, I'm giving you the story because nobody else wanted it. That's what happens when you miss staff meetings. And three, yes. Yes, what? You will be the laughing stock of this newspaper. Why do you think nobody else wanted the story? Bad day? What's the matter, Putin? Cat caught the tongue. What do you want, Letitia? Don't you have some social event to sell yourself to? Oh, do I sense some jealousy over my job? Why would I be jealous over your job? There's nothing smart about what you do. It involves no thinking, no investigative journalism, so no, I'm not jealous. And that's why it's so much more fun than what you do. Okay, you keep telling yourself that. By the way, how's the boyfriend? You know very well that I don't have a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Precisely! Good for nothing. If you want, I can lend you some of mine to relieve some stress. Bitch! I beg your pardon? Oh, granted. Who the hell do you think you are to call me a bitch? Oh, sorry. I actually meant poor. Look who's talking, Todd Bates. You have no special You know what? You have too much of it. You know what? I don't know. I don't know what to do with the both of you. She started it. Oh, shut up, Gummy Bear. 
Do you want my fist up your nose, Smurfette? Why don't you try it? Shut up, both of you! There's a reason why this newspaper is so successful. Does any one of you know that reason? Is it because I work here? It's because of teamwork. Get that through your heads. Teamwork. Meaning? Meaning the two of you are going to be working closely together in this month, sharing each other's stories. No! I can't, I can't work, work with that. With that. That's ridiculous. I would not leave them. It's enough. enough. Leave this job. Enough. If I hear a whisper out of you two, you both will be packing paper on one of the trucks. And yes, Letitia, you will be required to wear an overall. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Run along. Oh. What the hell? Gosh. I still can't believe this is happening. You better rest, would you? Do you honestly think this is a walk in the park for me? I don't get what you're complaining about, though. I mean, this is your chance to learn something about real journalism. Oh, I she was again. Look, let's get something straight here. My story is the important one. You need to follow my lead. Sure. Maybe when you get yourself a boyfriend, <laughs> you're going to be interviewing a singer. Excuse me. Exclusive interview with the Alex Seth, a musician extraordinary, a vocal sensation, hunk. Oof, what a piece of meat. <laughs> yeah, if you're a brainless chick. Whatever. Look. This is not easy for me. This is actually quite embarrassing to do the story. I should be covering more interesting stories. Instead, I'm covering Twilight Adventures here. How do you think I feel? So you admit your story is dust. Then I'll take the lead in this team. Maybe you can learn a thing or two on how to be as close as good looking to me. Mr. Seth, your 1 p.m. is here. My 1 p.m.? Yes, sir. Your interview with the two reporters? Oh, Mr. Seth, the reporters? Thank you, Jazz. Ladies! Hi. What's your poison? I'll have the same as you. Mm. Nothing for me. I don't drink on the job. Well, if you want this interview, you'll have a drink. No, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, Natalie, darling, mm -hmm. Seth doesn't ask twice. It's too bad. Don't make me beg. Well, you don't have to beg me. I said I won't have a drink, so I won't have a drink. Oh, my. Natalie, do as the man says, <laughs> or else there will be consequences. I really don't care. Why don't you jump in the pool, slut? Shut your face, oh, whatever. Up. Okay, ladies, 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 ladies. Uh, Jazz, could you please take uh, Natalie? Just Natalie to the the sound booth and show the technical aspects, please. And I'll stay with Letitia. Okay. I will, sir. Thank you. Tell me, is he always like that? You don't know the half of it. You know what, you're right. I actually don't want to know. Trust me, you're better off. So, what do you want to see first? The studio? Quite frankly, this is not even my thing. I was actually forced to be here. This is her story. I'm working on something, let's just say, a little different. That's understandable. So... Oh, I thought I heard a commotion and... Who do we have here? That's Natalie, she's a reporter. And that's Gordon, Alex Head's manager. Mademoiselle. Enough with your crap, Gordon. <laughs> oh, Jasmine. 
I see you finally warming up to me, Jasmine. In your dreams. <laughs> and believe me, I have those dreams. So, you say you're a reporter, right? That's right. That must be boring. Not really. Well, look, if ever you need any investigations done, then I'm free. Enough, Gordon. Natalie, why don't we continue our conversation elsewhere? Please, I was thinking the same thing. She digs me. Oh yes, I've received numerous emails about this one. How is it that Mr. Seth is so comfortable around women? What's your secret? What's your Let me show you. <laughs> Mr. Sir, mm. can't you carry no, I'll be, five pages? I'll be back. Are you okay? Oops. I love this song, Trevor. Turn it up. Hey, man, I was listening to that. What's wrong with you? Well, you've listened enough. I'm just checking if you're okay. I'm fine. I'm just a little tipsy, that's all. Yeah, too much wine again, hey? Yeah, whatever. I'm not drunk. I'm tipsy. That's what you said the last time. Anyway, that party was insane. Don't you think? Best party of the year. I wouldn't know now, would I? I wasn't invited. What are you talking about? We just came from there. In case you don't remember, Lucille, you called me to pick you up after your so-called date bailed out on you. What? Yeah, where do you find these jerks? Shit, Trevor, I'm sorry. I completely forgot. But you know, I can always count on you, bestie. Anytime. Seal, you okay? You okay? Oh, Trevor, look out! What This is mine. There you go. Easy. Easy. Oh, I saw you here. Trevor, I'm blind, Trevor. I'm blind. No, you're not. Oh, I can yeah. see. <laughs> Why am I walking like <laughs> Relax, okay? Hey, here it is, right here. Shoot, see? Oh, 
shoe. I found it. Look. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Who's this lady sitting here? What lady? This one sitting here. There's no one there. Oh, your girlfriend. There's nobody there. <laughs> <laughs> Too much work. Oh, she's gone. Where did she go? Okay, I'm gonna go sleep, Trevor. I'll see you in the morning, okay? Yeah, great idea. You get some rest, I'm gonna head on out. No, Trevor, stay! Okay, okay. You leave. I'll stay. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. Oh, let's see, there's junk, junk, and more junk. See what I tell you. <sighs> Lucille, you know what? I think I better head on out, alright? I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Get some rest, okay? <coughs> Lucille! <coughs> Lucille! <coughs> Lucille! <coughs> Lucille? Seal? Hey. Yeah. Seal, what's going on? Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? Good morning to you too. Um, you don't remember last night? No, what happened last night? You, at the party, too much wine. Mm -hmm. Me, to the rescue, brought you home. Mm -hmm. Bed. Bed? What do you mean bed? You don't remember the bed? No, you, me, bed. No, no, that... nothing like that. Uh, I just uh, made sure you were comfortable in bed. I actually crashed on the sofa. Oh, thank you. Look, hey, uh, breakfast, coffee, mm -hmm. something? I just want my hangover cure, you know. Thanks, Trev. You know, I can always count on you to keep me safe. Anytime. Hmm. Papa? No, thanks. Bye bye. Anyway, you seem fine. I'm gonna head on out, alright? But am I gonna see you later? Look, I'll pop by. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye, Fab. Bye. <laughs> Don't worry, as promised, I will definitely get your car sorted. I mean, that's exactly what we do. Okay then. Alright, take care. Call me, call me later. Alright, cheers. Bye. Hey, hey, good, Mr. T. How's it? Mohamed Mohamed. Oh, hey. You've been working out. How's it, man? Ah, you know how it goes. So, how are you doing? Ah, uh, could be better, but anyway. Listen, yeah. I got your call last night. I'm sorry I didn't reply. I was busy with this Durban racing yeah, campaign. Yeah, yeah, excuse me. I got a question for you. How's a girlfriend who doesn't know you exist? Do you have to go there? I thought there was <laughs> no. something important. Ah, oh, just man. passing your chop, man. I've got something to show you. I'm going to show you quickly. Something oh, I want to show you. I know you're going to be wild. Have a look at this. Wow, neat, man. Amazing. Yikes, look at this. I did this in my brand new upholstery division upstairs. Really? Sure. Unbelievable, man. Check this out. You know that uh, 1957 uh, Chevy you spoke about? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We can do the exact same thing for you. Man, we need to talk about that soon, man. I've been waiting so quick. Yeah, we wow. need to. My guys are ready. What exactly are we doing here? I told you I have a lead. You should have a little more faith in me, you know? <laughs> Look, just because I don't like you, it does not mean I don't take my assignments seriously. Oh, really? Then tell me exactly where did you get this lead? I used to date him. 
Yeah, yeah, I know what you must be thinking. Then I found out what a wacko he was and left him. If he's such a wacko, then why are we coming to his house? He might just be the one to have our answers. And anyway, I was dying to see if you missed me. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Um, we're here to see Malcolm. I was expecting you guys. Come in. So where is Malcolm? Malcolm is not here, but he asked me to give you an envelope. So what does it say? Well, Malcolm says we need to meet him and his friend at this address tonight. Guess it's tonight then. Guess so. Lucille? Lucille? Lucille, wake up. Lucille, are you okay? Lucille, hey, hey, hey. Go on, wake up. Hey. Easy, easy, easy. What happened? What happened? Easy. easy. The pillows! They're there. Okay, Trev, did you put the pillows right? No, no. What Trev, did you put the pillows right? No, no, I just got here, okay? I just got here and I found you passed out on the floor. Pillows, the pillows were floating in the Are air. Are you okay? Did you have bumped your no, head? Oh, and the fridge was opening. And the TV was going on hey, and on. Calm all. down. Look, look at me. Look at me. Okay, just breathe in, breathe out. Okay, calm down. I'm here now. You're safe, all right? Okay. Let me get you some water, all right? See. Drink this nice and slow. Calm down. I'm here now. Down. Easy. Take it easy. I'm here now. All right, all right, look, let's get you off this floor. Let's sit down and let's talk about it. What happened? The pillows floating in the air, fridge doors opening and closing, TV switching itself on. You sure the knickknacks didn't go very well with the wine? 
Trevor, I'm serious. This is not a joke. Okay, okay, calm down. I'm kidding, okay? I'm kidding. Relax, I understand, okay? And I believe you. Relax. Look. I think maybe I just need to get out of here. Yeah, you know what? That's not such a bad idea. I'm heading over to my parents' house. It's their 27th anniversary. Why don't you come with me? No, Go. no, I'm not going to come there after the last time. Are you crazy? They really think I'm a psychopath. I'm we'll not see, going uh, there, no. That's, that's water under a bridge. That's the past. No one even remembers it. Not even me. Come on. It's going to be fun. Get your mind off things. I think right. maybe you're right. I'm ready. Hi, come in. Come. Hello. Come in, come in. Hello. Hey, Dad, how are you doing? You know Lucille. Lucille, hi. How are you? Hi. I'm good. It's so nice to see you after so long, hey? Nice to see you too. Are parents well? Oh, they're well. They're fine, yeah. Good. You still like the wine? Trevor, hi. Dad, what is wrong with you? I'm glad you asked. I saw the physician today and it's not good news. This is a nice surprise. What do you mean, Dad? Are you forgetting how that girl broke your heart? Relax, Dad. Okay, there's nothing to worry about. We're just friends, okay? Besides, I was the one in love with her. In my head, okay? She knew nothing about it. And do you still feel that way? I think you need to have a word with her. Tell her how you feel. You know what, Dad? I don't want to talk about this right now. Sorry, bro, gotta run. Something important came up. We'll catch up with you later. Love you. But wait, aren't you gonna join us for dinner? Where is she off to in such a rush? <laughs> I'm late again, aren't I? What's new with you? Where's your friend Malcolm? Uh, he found him and said he can't make it. Trust your friends to be so unreliable. Well, he's a back up after all. What you expect? Let's just go, please. No. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. We came to see Malcolm's friend. Oh, uh, follow me. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll try that. Yeah. Malcolm's friends are yes. Ah, so you must be the people who do not believe in the existence of ghosts. Yeah, that would be us. Uh-huh. Okay, come non-believers. Wait, I don't mean to be rude or insult anyone, but what the hell are we doing here? Because I really don't want to waste my time. I take it that Malcolm did not inform you of the situation here? Absolutely not. We would appreciate some enlightenment. Okay, well, this dance school has actually been in operation for the last two months. And since then, on a Wednesday, they've actually been visited by an unwelcomed dancer. A ghost, if you're wondering. So you saying that we're going to be witnessing a ghost here tonight? Well, that has been the norm thus far. So why? How come only on Wednesdays? As you can see, this is a community hall. And prior to the dance school practicing here, there's been no supernatural activity. Usually a ghost attaches itself to a person or a material item, and that item allows the ghost to travel from one location to another. I've actually sort of narrowed it down to some ankle bells. 
These ankle bells are well over 30 years old and we have no idea who the original owner was. So how do you know that that is the item that the ghost is attached to? Well, last week I took away the ankle bells and the ghost didn't show. Ooh, it's weird. Yes. It's time. Excuse me, ladies, it's showtime. I think you should make yourselves comfortable. Sure. Do you dance here often? Is this your favorite haunting place? I hope the food is not too hot for you, Lucille. Huh? Oh no, it's actually uh, it's actually very nice. Thanks. Lucille, it's really good to have you back in Durban. Uh, you didn't like the move to Cape Town? Well, it just... I guess it just didn't work out. Oh, I'm just inquiring because Letitia wanted to move to Cape Town and I told her that it is not a place for single women. But you moved to Cape Town with your boyfriend, correct? Okay, you know what? That's enough. Can we just enjoy the meal, please? Can we? Wine or cool drink? <laughs> Shush, Dad. <sighs> uh, Lucille. <laughs> Are you okay? Did you choke? <laughs> I told you not to put so much chili powder on the curry. Shut up. Don't blame it on my cooking. No, 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 no. I just, I just thought I saw a lady in the window, like standing by the window. What? I'm gonna check outside. Water. Well, I checked around the house and there's nobody there. Don't look at me. I don't have a girlfriend. Um, I must, I must have just been seeing things. Don't worry. Don't feel bad. Sometimes food can do that to a person. Special food. Oh, shut up. Relax. I'm only trying to ease the tension. <laughs> I 
think they might have eased a bit too much tension. Basil, Basil, you're scaring me. What's going on? Yeah. Well, ladies, are we believers now? Well, I'll admit I saw something. But how do we know you did not gas us up with some hallucinogen that made us think we saw what we saw? What about you, Natalie? What do you think? Look, I'm convinced. But does this mean that you can help me find my highway, Sheila? I was Sheila. So that's why you went to Malcolm. Hmm, this ought to be interesting. What do you mean? What does Malcolm have to do with Highway Sheila? Look, I'm still in the dark here. I just don't understand what's going on. My editor gave me an assignment, and that is to find out if Highway Sheila is linked to all the accidents that's happening on the Higginson Highway, because apparently she's responsible for it all. So that's your deal? You're doing a story on our Sheila off the highway. Okay, I may have a couple of hours to indulge you ladies. Thank you. I tell you what, get my address from my assistant and I'll see you ladies tomorrow, 10 a.m. sharp. Ladies, it's a date. Uh, I don't think so. Oh. I didn't think tonight was going to be like this. I thought after the last time I'd redeem myself and I don't know what happened. I really don't. No need to apologize, okay? I understand. All right? If that was your way of getting us out of there, hats off to you. Well done. It worked. No, I didn't do this intentionally. I swear to you, I saw, I saw something in that window. I understand. And hey, I believe you. All right? Honestly, I do. Look. I think it's been a long night. You need to get some rest, all right? And I'm going to be back to check on you tomorrow. What do you mean you're going? I, I really need someone right now, so please stay a bit. I'm just going to slip into something a bit more comfortable, okay? So you sit on the couch, what? Why are you sitting so far? Oh, okay. That's better. Why am I so unlucky with guys, Trev? You know, if it wasn't for you, I'd have... I'd have no one I could trust. You know I'm always here for you. You can always count on me. You know that. Yeah, I know.
I'm hard to get to know. I wish I could not go along, but I barely know myself. Babe. We'll do it together day by day. I know I'm hard to get to know, but baby, if it were. Thanks. Good morning, Mrs. Singh. Hi. I was under the impression we had an 8.15 feedback session. Am I to assume that both of you don't have watches that work? Actually, Mrs. Singh, you'll be glad to know that we have a fantastic lead. And this could potentially be the greatest story of the century. Story of the month, maybe not century. So how's your expose on Mr. Seth going? Absolutely fantastic. He's invited us to the launch of his album tonight, and all the who's who is going to be there. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that one. Has Letitia supported you in your assignments thus far? Yeah, she has, but ah 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 ah. The only but that is important here is my but, which will be on the line if we don't get great stories out to the readers. Now go away and get those stories. Okay, yeah. All right, I hope you don't mind me recording the session. No, not at all. It's fine. Well, I was going to have Malcolm be here to relate his story to you, but uh, apparently you're scared of seeing Letitia. Oh. Where's Letitia, by the way? Letitia's in the car. She decided to sit this one out. She's busy doing her nails. She needed to get that done. Priorities, I guess. And really, she was just very traumatized after seeing that ghost burning yesterday. I mean, even I am still shocked after seeing that. What? Speaking of that, like, what happened? How does a ghost just burn up like that? The ghost didn't really burn. It was just an illusion. <sighs> Let me explain. Um, remember that ankle bell? Mm -hmm. that I set a light? Mm -hmm. Well, the ghost saw that being on fire and itself manifested those flames. So that was just an illusion. You say it like it's so natural. I mean, that is so unnatural. I actually think I should do a story on you and, and exactly what no, you do. No, 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 no. Uh, just leave me in the background. Don't even coach me. I, 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 I just want to help people. I don't want to be uh, in the public eye. Well, fair enough. Speaking of helping people, can you enlighten me or help me out with understanding this Highway Sheila story? Malcolm came to me with his problem about two years ago. Uh, before I relate his story to you, you need to understand Malcolm's background to appreciate his story. Mm -hmm. Malcolm was a very rebellious teenager. Got on the wrong side of the law, locked up a few times. The reason for his behavior was that uh, his father had committed suicide when he was very young. And he attributed that to his father not caring for them. Okay. Eventually, his mother sat him down when he was 20 and uh, told him exactly why his father committed suicide. Her, man. Excuse me, miss. Are you okay? 
Listen, it's extremely late, and I don't know what you are doing here all alone. And it can't be safe for you. Would you like me to drop you off somewhere? Okay, I'm just going to check if my tires are fine. I'll be back. Where am I taking you to? I need to get home. Sorry, my heater is not working. Grab onto this coat and maybe keep yourself warm. Yes. Hello? Sorry to disturb you, but I left a young girl here last night and I forgot to take my jacket from her. Could you please ask her for it? I'm sorry, you must be mistaken. Okay, the girl here, she can tell you. I think you got the wrong house. There's no girls living here. There's no young girls living here. I live here by myself. Sorry, auntie, this is the same house I dropped off the girl last night. She has a whitish dress, long hair and no makeup. You know what? I don't know who sent you here to play games. Really, please, just get out of my yard. Listen, Auntie, I got no time to play games. This is the first time I'm coming to this area. Just wait here. I'm just coming back now. Just wait. The girl you described, is she the one? Hey, she's the same girl that, that I dropped off last night. Why did you say that you live alone? I really don't know whether you're playing a joke on me or if you're really serious. Auntie, I'm getting late for my meeting. It's important that I get my jacket. If the lady wants to keep the jacket, she can keep the jacket as long as she gives me my diary from the coat pocket. Please, Auntie, I'm losing my patience now. This girl, yeah, that you say that you gave lift. She's my daughter. She died eight years ago. You know what, Auntie? I don't know what game you and your daughter are playing, but I'm tired of this. I'm already late for my meeting. When I come back here in the afternoon, I'm coming back with the police, and that's going to teach you a lesson. Excuse me, Auntie. 
Sorry to disturb you. Uh, the lady living next door. Yes, sir. How long has she been staying here? Um, well, when we moved here 15 years ago, she was already here. Oh, then you know her daughter? Um, she only had one daughter and she passed away. Is she really dead? How did she die? Apparently, uh, she was coming from work with some friends. I think they were drunk. Um, they met with a horrible accident and unfortunately she died on the scene and the rest died a few weeks later in hospital. Why are you asking me all this? So what happened thereafter, Malcolm's father used to apparently see the Sheila uh, sometimes appearing in his car, walking past the house window, started to drive him insane, and Malcolm's father took his uh, red car and drove it off a cliff. Ouch. That is absolutely tragic. Yes, well then Malcolm told me the story, and um, I said, okay, fine, I'll try and help Malcolm. Now bear in mind, as a child, I also heard various stories of Highway Sheila. Mm -hmm. I never knew whether she really existed or not, so I decided to do some digging, factual digging into it. This is what I came up with. Our story begins in the early 1970s in a young town called Chatsworth. At the time, Chatsworth was merely eight or nine years in existence. There wasn't many forms of entertainment at the time, except for the radio, cinema, magazines and the newspapers. And these were not easily available to many of the poor settlers. Hence, the most easiest and freely available form of social activity took precedence, gossip. Our fathers and grandfathers worked predominantly for European companies. Thus, many of them had white employers, many of whom were foreigners. There has existed a global phenomenon known as the white lady. The white referred to her attire, meaning the dress that she wore. It was said that many travelers around the world encountered such a woman who merely wanted a lift to get home, but she turned out to be a ghost. Stories were that after giving the lady a lift, she would mysteriously vanish from the vehicle, or sometimes when the Good Samaritan would try to revisit her, he would be informed that the lady in question had died several years prior. These tales from all over the world pertaining to the white lady was carried to our shores by the white foreign employers. During casual conversations, the foreign employers would humor their staff with these stories. Some were gullible, others took it as it was intended to be a story. It should be noted that Sheila does not necessarily refer to a name of a person. In Australia, it is a slang for a beautiful woman. It is very possible that an Australian employer referred to a Sheila on the highway, meaning a woman on the highway. When the story was retold in our homes in Chatsworth by our fathers and grandfathers, our households called the ghost Sheila, thus giving her a name. Thereafter, the power of gossip did the rest. In a town where gossip was the housewife's norm, the legend of Highway Sheila was born, a fictional story that spread to many households via social gathering, schools, and common chit chat. Now, this is the reasons why I don't think that Highway Sheila really exists. It's just gossip. It's, it's a fairy tale. 
So you're saying that you don't believe what Malcolm is saying or what, what Malcolm was saying? No, no, no. I really think Malcolm's story is a load of crap. Why? Well, look, it is my honest opinion that his mother told him the Highway Sheila story to pacify his rebelliousness. Hmm. So it would seem that the best person for me to speak to would actually be Malcolm's mother. I mean, can, can you maybe arrange me meeting her and chatting to her? No, I don't think that'll be possible. Why? According to Malcolm, his mother passed away two days after telling him the story. What? Yeah. Then could it not be possible that, I mean, the story was true? Because why? Why would she die two days? I mean, that's a big coincidence. Look, it's possible I keep an open mind. Um, you know, I don't discount anything. Therefore, I said his story, my opinion. Another thing. Mm -hmm. This apparently is the jacket that was given to Sheila by Malcolm's father. Now, I keep it with me on my person, hoping to meet if there's a ghost attached to it. You know, maybe there is a ghost attached to it so that I can actually help Malcolm solve his, uh, his story of history. Wow. I mean, if you haven't had any luck um, until now, perhaps the ghost isn't attached to this item and, and there's something else that it's attached to. I mean, could that be possible? That is very possible. It could also be possible that the ghost was just attached to Malcolm's father or his car. <sighs> Boy. That's a dead end. Well, bear in mind, I'm not telling you that there are no ghosts on the highway. All I'm merely saying is that it is very unlikely for you to find a ghost on the highway named Sheila. You know, in fact, it's a curse. Because if you do see a ghost on the highway, you're automatically going to label her Sheila, Highway Sheila. They, ghosts are cursed to be known as Highway Sheila. So what you're saying is that any ghost on the highway is just termed as Sheila because of this myth. But it could be any ghost. Correct. Wow. So that adds a completely new element and dimension to my story, I guess. Well, I've given you two scenarios, whichever one you want to choose, my hard facts that I've given you, or Malcolm's uh, fairy tale. So, what's happening? How's the love life? Oh, don't even go there. You know Sasha I moved to Cape Town with? He messed up so bad, so I just packed up and moved back to Durban. Oh my god, you mean to tell me I set you up with the wrong kind of guy? Well, it wasn't your fault. You weren't the one cheating on me. <laughs> so, what do you say I set you up with somebody else? Oh, shush. Hi. Listen! Hi! Hi! Just do it! Oh, it's been really so long. Let's <laughs> grab chair. I'm sorry. You okay, darling? Did you have too much to drink? Excuse me. Fine, sexy ass. Yes. <laughs> How about that whiskey, sweet lips? over me. Who cares, girl? You kicked ass. No, it's not that. Justine, you know me my entire life. How can a girl my size crush a guy's bones like that? You were angry. I don't know. It's like, it's like a mother being able to lift a car off her child. Adrenaline kicked in. Yeah, don't be so hard on yourself. He deserved it. As long as you're okay. 
You know what? That moron deserved where he got. Anyway, Natalie and I are going to the club tonight. We're meeting Alex out there for drinks. You guys should join. Um, no, it's okay. I think I'm just gonna go home. That's right. You don't think. We're doing the thinking for you. What do you say, Justine? Will you bring it through? Yeah, we're so going. Justine, can I talk to you for a second? Shut up. Just <clears throat> shut up. We are going. We are so going. Don't do this to me, girl. Don't do this. I'll never talk to you again. Um, what? What? good company right now. That's okay, but what's up? If you need someone to talk to, I'm here. Thanks. Appreciate it, but I'll be fine. Okay, well, this is really not my scene, so I think I'm gonna go get myself something to drink. Do you want anything? No, I'm good. Thanks. Okay. Excuse me, miss. Are you okay? Listen, I don't know what's your situation, but it's not safe for you to be here uh, all alone. Is there any way I can drop you off? Don't mind. 
mind me asking, why were you crying? You're cold. I have a coat in the back seat. You're welcome to cover yourself. I take it you had a bad night? I don't know what I had. Is this where you really stay? Just drive. Good to meet you. So I was watching you ladies model there. Are you just into modeling or you have another profession going? Well, actually I'm into IT. IT? Yeah. Oh, okay, you know the musician over there? Yeah. Yeah, his brother recently opened up an IT business. Yeah, and he just told me that he's looking for some interns. Why don't you go actually speak to him, right? Yeah, I think I should. He's That's just around the idea. corner there. Yeah. 
And listen, tell him that Gordon sent you back. All right. So, you said you were Sarah, right? I couldn't have noticed. You have a lovely pendant over here. Does it uh, have any significance? It's actually a protection pendant given by my father when I got six days in matric. Oh, lovely. So, uh, I watched you model. Is that your only profession? No, actually, acting is my passion. I just do modeling to get noticed. Noticed? I tell you what, I'm actually off to another business meeting right now. Did I tell you I'm a producer at a, a major motion picture? And we're looking to cast a character, and I promise you, when I looked at you, you just fit the profile. I'm going there right now, and all the major players are gonna be there. Why don't you come along, audition, and we get you the role? I don't think Cheryl would come. Cheryl? Your friend Cheryl? No, 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 you don't want to take your friend to your job interview. Haven't you ever heard that if you take a friend to your job interview, she might steal your role? Cheryl's not like that. Listen, it's paying you 450,000 Rand in just five days of shooting. What you say? I never did ask you, how old are you? 19. Ah, and that's a perfect age for the character. Can you tell me a little bit more about the character? No, no, that's not my place. But the director will brief you on that. Sorry. I didn't mean to startle you there. It's just that you're looking so disturbed. I feel bad for not telling Cheryl where we're going. Relax, Sierra. Don't worry about Cheryl. We're going to be back in a heartbeat. And besides, you saw, Cheryl was too busy smooching around. She has your cell phone, right? Your cell number. She will contact you. I don't have a cell phone. You don't have a cell phone? Shocking. Remind me, tomorrow, I'll get you a cell phone. Let's get you the iPhone. And whilst we're at it, let's get you the iPad. Because if you're going to be in this industry and you want to survive in this business, you will need email. Sorry, maybe this is a bad idea. Relax, sweetie. Listen, the only reason I'm doing this is to try and get you comfortable and take the shyness away. I mean, if you're gonna be in acting, then... Sorry. Yeah? No, we're almost there. Don't stress. I have a... a little surprise for you. No, no. It's a good surprise.
Impressive, isn't it? Well, then why don't you take it out the outside? No, that's just a scare tactic that we use to keep the unwanted outside. It's about time. I was just about to leave. Gerald, where's the rest of the gang? Need I remind you they have wives? Are we late? No, we are never too late. So who's your super friend? Where did you find her? Mm -hmm. Don't worry about him. He's just joking. It's not a joke, dude. I didn't wait five hours for a bachelor party for nothing. Where is my stripper? Colin, I think we should go. Oh? You think we should go? Why? Are you scared? Are having a little bit of fun with me tonight? Huh? Come, come now, Sarah. Look, we just got off on the wrong foot. I mean, did you honestly expect me to believe that innocent bullshit you were using to try and to seduce me? You're mad. I was not trying to seduce you. She's right. Who the heck would want to seduce you? Shut up, you twit! Excuse me? You calling me a twit? It's quite obvious he brought an innocent girl to a bachelor party. And you're trying to torture her and rape her? I'm, I'm sorry, my sister. What's your name? Gerald, I'm gonna bloody kill you! That's how you like them. Let me give you a hand. for this whole thing, you know? You just bring people over here and then you know, just do the wrong thing. Where did she go?
We have built a car from bumper to bumper and repaired it as well. Certain guys, they want to modify their cars. You know, we beef up like the CV joints and the prop shafts so that it can withstand that speed. Cars are my passion. Yes. And you know, uh, coupled with my unique business skills that I can bring to the table, mm -hmm. I think this job as a business development manager will benefit us both. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, you're right. You're not alone when it comes to passion with cars. Mm -hmm. eh? Sorry about this. Now go ahead, take it. Oh, you know what, it's fine. It's just actually a friend of mine who I think has had too much wine again. I'll call her back later. Um, hey Trev. It's me, um, I'm just... I thought you'd pick up, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I just want to say that I'm really sorry for the way I've been behaving lately. Just it's so weird and... And, and it's not going to happen again, okay? I think I'm okay now and everything's going to be fine, okay? So, uh, come see me when you can, okay? Bye. Hi. Lucille, hi. Um, hi, I was actually looking for Letitia. I thought she'd be here. Well, that's what reception told me. Oh, it's fine. We have a meeting here in a few minutes, so she should be here any time now. You can come and have a seat. So what happened to you last night? You got us really scared when you disappeared all of a sudden. Long story. Anyway, what are you busy with? <laughs> you really don't want to know. It's kind of embarrassing. No, really. Please tell me. I need to get my mind off my own issues. Ever heard of Highway Sheila? She's that mysterious lady dressed in white. Um, she's always taking lifts from strangers, and then a couple of days later, they found dead. Hmm. Can't say that I have. Although I do remember an episode like that on Supernatural once. Well, anyway, I've been tasked to investigate this myth and find out if there's some link or tie with all of the accidents that's been happening on the highway recently. So you're investigating a ghost? <laughs> Just my luck. Yes, I am. And you're seriously investigating a ghost? Okay, how is that going? How is that going? Well, just the other night, we went uh, ghost hunting. And let's just say it was a contact of a contact from Letitia's side. And? You might not believe this, but we actually saw a ghost. And I mean, right in front of our eyes. Lucille, are you okay? You have that spaced out look again. Um, sorry. You know, yesterday when you, you said that if I ever needed someone to talk to, 
you would... Yes, yes, of course. Okay, well, is there somewhere private we can go and chat? Yeah, um, we can go onto the balcony. It's really quiet there. Please, oh, that would be nice. Let's go. Let's do that. Wow, Lucille, what are you doing here? And that's when Justine came to pick me up from this place. You know, I saw this whole thing and I experienced her pain and... Do you think that this could be the spirit that you're investigating, Hairi Sheila? Highly unlikely. Oh, really now? Let's hear your investigative skills come into play and put that bloody thing off. Oh, hush. Listen. According to the Sheila legend, as mentioned by Spears and Malcolm's story, she only existed in the 1970s and 1980s. So? So, what Lucille saw was a murder of a young person, maybe a year or two ago. And how do you figure that one out? She saw somebody from Alex's entourage. I mean entourage. Whatever. That triggered a whole lot of flashbacks. And she saw the same very person strangling our restless spirit. Yeah, she's right. Of course I'm right. Huh. And you call yourself an investigative reporter. And from what I saw, there's no way that this could have happened in the 70s or even 80s for that matter. And if the spirit is restless, maybe it's not this Sheila myth that's causing all the accidents. Maybe it's the spirit that I can see. Whoa! Can you see her? Sometimes. What does the restless spirit want? You know who can help us answer that question, right? You guys know where I stand on this Highway Sheila thing, right? So, no, her restless spirit is not this Highway Sheila. She's, she's just that, a restless spirit. So, do you think she's the one that's causing all the accidents? Mm, yes and no. What do you mean? From what you explained to me, this spirit is attached to that chain you're wearing. So she will go wherever that chain goes. Now it's logical to assume that um, you haven't been on the highway for the last two or three days, so it's very unlikely she's causing those carnages that's on the highway because there's still carnage on your highway. Remember I explained to you that if one sees a female ghost on your highway, they are referred to as Highway Sheila. So it stands to reason there could be a couple of these Highway Sheilas causing accidents on your highway. What about my spirit? My guess is that she wants to finish something. She wants justice. Can she hurt me? It's possible. But um, if you want, I can actually destroy your, 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 your chain before your spirit becomes more restless and it hurts you. More restless? Yes, if unchecked, a restless spirit can actually grow much stronger. At first, they control just minor things. But as they get stronger, they start to control larger objects. They can become destructive. Oh, Icon is a bit. Lucille, why didn't you want him to destroy the chain? I mean, you could have destroyed the spirit. I don't know, it just didn't feel right. It was like, that's not what I was supposed to do with it. Anyway, guys, promise me that everything I told you today, you won't reveal to anybody. No, of course not. Excuse me? Hello? Hi, Jasmine. You're sure you can talk? Tonight? Great. I'll get my chauffeur to drive us around. Fantastic. Bye-bye now. You're such a bitch. Takes one to no one, sweetie. Anyway, what was that about? Uh, Mr. Seth apologizes for not being able to spend much time with us at the club last night. So he's invited us to Vogue nightclub. So that means I get my story. Lucille, you know what? I won't be going to the club, but maybe you should go. You could see that guy that you saw in your visions and at the club, and you could confront him. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm not good with confrontation. I think I'm just going to stay at home as well. Mm. 
Hey. Hey. Oh, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Better. So, what's up? Oh, well, you wanted the car. Here it is. Yeah, it's yours but... for the night. Just bring it back with a full tank. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm actually not feeling like going out tonight, so you can take it, please. Hey, uh, come on, what's up? I thought you had plans with Justine, and uh, I was just kidding about the fuel parts. Come on. No, you know what? I just, I'm not amped. Look, uh, I'm gonna leave the keys here. If you change your mind, it's all yours. I got plans with the guys, they're waiting outside, and yeah, I gotta go. So yeah, enjoy yourself. No you speeding too. parts, eh? All right. Bye, yeah. Jeff. See you. Yeah, cheers. Hmm. that I have you to thank for this. <laughs> so I would like to know, are you using me to get close to you, Alexei? Who? So I guess tonight's my lucky night then. Oh, you have no idea what's coming to you. Shall we then? Lucille? Lucille, I'm back. You do know you left your door open, right? Lucille, are you sleeping? Can I join you? Lucille? Lucille? That's weird. Hi, Justine. It's actually Trevor. Is Lucille with you by any chance? No. I'm I'm actually with Joey. Uh, what's up? Didn't the two of you have plans tonight? She cancelled. She cancelled?
Hey, you don't mind waiting here for just a second. I want to go inside very quickly to grab a key to a very special place. Can't I come with you? Yeah, sure. and something came up. I thought it was going to be my week. Well, as I said, it's urgent. Don't you know sharing is caring? Mm -mm -mm. Who's your friend? Don't you want to introduce us? I, I didn't catch your name. That's because I didn't throw it. As you can see, this is going to be an interesting evening. If you want to make a call, just press zero. Standard rate supply. I'll keep that in mind. Tisha, it's me. Where are you? I'm at Vogue. Why? Is Lucille with you by any chance? No, why would she be? Why don't you just call on a cell? How stupid do you think I am? Do I really need to answer that? Listen, I'm in no mood for games, okay? I thought of everything. Alright, she didn't take her cell phone with her, but she used my car. And what did the tracking company say? I'm gonna call you back. Ugh.
Letty, hi. Um, I checked with the tracking company and guess what? What? My club? Well then, go check in the parking lot and make sure it's my car there. Hey, I'm working here. I have no time for your nonsense. Do you even know who I'm with? Like I give a damn. Well, you should give a damn because I'm with Mr. Alex Sitt, his PA and his... Ma Maybe you should call. You could see that guy that you saw in your visions and at the club, and you can confront him. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm not good with confrontation. Ma. What? Manager. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'll what? call you. <laughs> You want to go somewhere more quiet? Sure, I'd love that. But I need a huge paper. Done. I want to know where Gordon is. Why? What do you want to do with Gordon? No, I just wanted to know where he was so Natalie could finish the interview whilst you and I can, you know. I like that. Huh? Anyway, welcome to my humble abode. Why is it so dilapidated? Don't be fooled by the exterior. I actually use this as my business conference center. And besides, you'll be quite impressed when you go inside. Do you want to go inside? I actually quite like it here. Well, if that's how you roll then, we can do it outdoor. Voicemail. Do you have any idea where else he could be? Well, I do equip my vehicles with the GPS, so I know exactly where they are at all. Yeah. 
sometimes. Oh, you're a genius. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Apple. laughs> 131 Limana Place. I don't know where that is. Great. Fantastic. Why don't you go back to the table? I'll go oh. to the ladies. Then you and I can ditch this play. Don't keep me waiting too long. I won't. Oh, would you cut the humming out, please, and focus on the road? Drive, come on. Claire, don't be so bitchy. I left my dinner with Alexia and I came to fetch you. Oh, you know what? You can just take this off the 150,000 favors that you owe me, all right? Just drive. Why are you so moody? And don't touch that. Oh, oh man, just drop the fake accent and drive. We'll okay, get it there faster. Okay, I'm going. Drive. I'm going. Let me grab a blanket for my car. And listen, whilst I'm doing that, why don't you call someone and tell them that you're going to be spending the night with me? I don't have a cell phone. You don't have a cell phone? Remind me. I'll get you one tomorrow, huh? Like an iPhone? <laughs> yeah, 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 an iPhone. <sighs> I bet you say that to all the girls, don't you? Only the very special ones. I trusted you. What? I trusted you. What are you talking about? I never wanted an iPhone. Okay. Or an iPad. Who's, who's talking about an iPad? Hey, hey, listen. I, I don't know if this is some kind of Kama Sutra thing that you're trying to pull here, but so I just, I just wanna, I just wanna... So, what do you say? Remember me. <gasps> what the hell? Miss me. Get away from me, you bitch! Where the hell did you come from? Sarah? What the matter, Gordon? Did we get off on the wrong foot? Sarah! Sarah, no! Sarah, wait, he's not worth it! Oh, Stay back! I'm warning you! I will slit her throat! And you know what? Do it! You have a lovely pendant over here. Does it uh, have any significance? Uh, what's this? Uh, uh, is this why you came back? For this? Uh, is this why you're here? <laughs> to think you came here to finish me off? But you know what's funny? I'm gonna kill you twice! You monster! Hell has a special place for you! <laughs> Lady, I'm the luckiest man alive! Nobody can put me down! Nobody can touch me! You think that this is the first bitch that I buried? <laughs> I should own my very own cemetery! I knew watching Supernatural would come in handy someday. Thank you, Dean and Sammy. What do I do with this, huh? I burn this, and poof, you're gone, right? But guess what? After I kill this bitch, I'm gonna burn your bones together with the rest of them. Together with the rest of them. Together with the rest of them. I scared a ghost. But now it's time to 
die! No! I see you made some friends, huh? Mishka? Darnell? Hena? I don't remember the rest of you. Wait, what? Are we having a reunion, yeah? I thought you wanted to wait in the car. Ah, uh, no, I couldn't let you do this alone, Trev. Thanks for doing this. I know Sarah would have wanted it. Yeah. I mean, we couldn't have left her remains in that place. I know. Goodbye, Sarah. I hope you rest in peace. Highway Sheila is just a myth. Rumors and stories pieced together by the old folk and made a reality through the decades of gossip. Durban has now lost its urban legend, for this legend belongs to the world. 
in many towns here and abroad, there is a woman on the highway who will need a lift. She is called Sheila, the Australian slang word for beautiful woman. But that is not her real name. Her real name will be unknown, for she is a ghost. Hey, I just stopped to have some to eat. I have some chips. Um, would you like to have some? Uh, you know what? You shouldn't be walking so late in the highway, especially this highway. Check this story out. Highway Sheila. <laughs> oh, lucky you never meet her in the highway. <laughs> oh my God, you could even be her. <laughs> Hello, you look a little lost. Are you okay? It's not very safe here. Um, there's a garage down the road. Would you like me to drop you off? Do you 